Do you enjoy podcasts? What about audio dramas? Then do we have the perfect one for you? It's called Atlas Avenue Beat, and I'm the leading man. Who am I? The name's Locke. James Locke. P.I. That stands for Private Investigator. I'm one of the best the city of Kenneth Heights has to offer. I'm constantly on the move, meeting crazy characters, having manly fistfights, and solving the latest cases. Every case is documented in audio form for your listening pleasure. And while I don't know much about the latest technology, I'm sure you do. So, if you're in the mood for a thrilling spoof of the film noir genre, go to 7lamb.com or search for Atlas Avenue Beat wherever you listen to podcasts. Yeah, you heard me. Welcome, everyone, to another fascinating episode of Will There Be Cake? I am Robert Lamb, and with me, as always, is Amber Simpson. That's me. And today, we have a guest. A guest. You know who it is, Amber Simpson? I have no idea. She's blocked by all of these microphones and You headsets. can't see. I know. So see. I'll tell you who it is. But we, you do know it's a she, though. <laughs> so <laughs> that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> How, but... Uh, I guess I can see long hair, that's it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, it is a she. Okay, good. She has been on before, but only once. This is her second time. She is back for another round of celebration. Amy Lorray is here. Woo-hoo! What's up, Amy? Hi, and welcome to Will There Be Cake? Ooh. Ooh. There's the radio voice. You should have done the intro to this one. Oh, well. All right. All right. We'll do it next time. Next time. <laughs> next time. Next no, year. we won't. Next year. <laughs> fourth time speaking uh, of radio voice yeah oh that's what you were doing yes a radio yes, yes. voice why would she do a radio voice right now today is national radio day radio day <laughs> I didn't know you really put hit. some thought into that <laughs> i don't know what other ones to hit happy radio national radio day so this is another one of those holidays where It's celebrated more than once a year. Of course it is. Because when I was doing research, there's a World Radio Day, which is the same, but world instead of national, just a different word. So this one's a national radio day. Yes. So this is just like continental United States. (laughs) Don't listen to anything overseas because, you know. It's unpatriotic. Yeah. Yeah. We got to be patriotic. But the other holiday is in February, I believe. Okay. But we're sub- celebrating this one, August 20th. Yeah, because that's what today is. That's what today is. <laughs> Got to celebrate it. I don't know why it's in August or why the one in February it is say? in February. No. You didn't find any uh, cool facts? No, I mean, because like, the invention of the radio was like a real process, and it wasn't just an invented by one guy. So it's not like they could just be like this guy's birthday, like a bunch of holidays we've done are. Or or some guy who accidentally knocked like a, <laughs> a fucking communicator into a peachy dish, peachy yeah. dish, and then, and then turned the into radio a radio. <laughs> yeah, radio. I don't know. However, they made penicillin. I always assume is how they right. made everything. No, this is one of those holidays where inventors actually put in some work. It wasn't. It wasn't an accident. Nice. And it was a bunch of inventors from all over the world, including an American inventor. Wow. Um, but yeah, it, it was uh, 1800s is when radio came to be. Nice. Yeah. You know who else uh, made a radio but out of coconuts was the professor <laughs> on uh, Gilligan's Island, if you've ever heard of it. Wow, I've never heard of it. Yeah, he could make anything out of coconuts. How did that he, guy was how a did real he make professor. a radio? I don't know. He just like cracked open a coconut and put his other radio inside <laughs> yeah, of it. Yeah. And put a real radio in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. From the ship or something. I don't know. From the ship. From the ship. That set sail that day. Mm. It was a three hour tour. Anyways, go ahead. Um, but yeah, so of course, prior to radio technology, all we had to spread news and information was word of mouth or paper. Can you imagine Leaflet. that? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Carrier pigeon. Yeah, that's smoke true. Smoke signals. Yeah, Ooh. smoke signals. So radio opened the floodgates for advertising, music industry, government, yeah, but it put, transparency, real-time news. But it put those pigeons out of work. It did, those poor pigeons. Yep. R.I.P. Now we just got city... Rat pigeons instead of uh, those carrier ones. 
Yeah, and pizza mice. Pizza rat. Pizza rats. <laughs> My bad. Mice yeah. could not carry a whole slice of pizza. You don't know. <laughs> well, multiple mice could. <laughs> but one mouse, I can't imagine that. That's too heavy for a mouse. That's true. That's Was true. it maybe like a bagel bite? <laughs> <laughs> A bagel bite or a pizza roll, for sure a mouse could carry Maybe it. if it was a mouse like uh, with like um, ant jeans. <laughs> you mean like <laughs> jeans that an ant wears? Yes. <laughs> okay. yes. Those like are too tiny. Physical. Those wouldn't even fit on a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse could definitely Ooh. pick up a slice of pizza. I've yeah, seen him do could. it. Me too. I've seen him do it. Not at Disney eyes. World. It was like in a movie or a show or something. Probably. So, yeah, today we're celebrating the invention of the radio and the the radio itself. So just like the radio as a whole, not like radio music or like... No, just the radio as a whole. Okay. So like really like the invention of the radio. Right. So um, it radio somewhat evolved from the telegraph and the telephone, of course, mostly like the wireless telegraph was like the biggest thing. Um, but... In Germany, there's research uh, from someone who proved electricity could be transmitted wirelessly. So that was like one part of it. Mm. And then uh, elsewhere, there's a bunch of patents from the prolific inventor Nikola Tesla, Nikola who provided Tesla. the radio with the Tesla coil. Yeah. And then an American inventor invented the Audion, Audion vacuum, which made live broadcasting possible. So, but first wireless radio was just served like as a military purpose. And, I was going to say in war, it seemed yeah, like it was important. And like regular public service role. Um, but there was actually one of the first radios was the Marconi wireless radio was aboard the Titanic and it, it broadcasted the distress signal. Not wow. that it worked, but you know. <laughs> I mean, they got there eventually, I they guess. Got, they got some of, some of them. I just always wondered, like, you, you think of, like, the Civil War, like, any wars <laughs> before that. Like, if they were under attack, they had to be like, you, get on your horse and go right. stand for reinforcements. Like, by the time that guy. Yeah, he gets to, like, a, a far away, and then all of a sudden he's like, listen. My my platoon was under attack. They're probably dead now. But yeah, right. Let's, let's I'm try not sure to go if back. I made it yeah. in time. It was a three days ride here. So or if the guy just know. died on the way there and just that's like, Meh. yeah. If he well, dies, shit. like your your message never got through. <laughs> like, that sucks. It's like in the Mummy uh, Returns when they shot that bird that was carrying the messages. They never got the messages anymore. <laughs> yeah, my, my two reference points: <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> Civil War <laughs> reenactments and uh, the Mummy Returns. The nut mummy return. <laughs> yeah, that's. But I guess that's cool. I mean, nowadays, you know, it's it's evolved. Oh a yeah, lot. <laughs> it's crazy evolved. Um, so 1906 was the first ever radio broadcast of voice and music purely for entertainment purposes, and it was uh, Reginald Fessenden who brought casted the program and he was just like some violin playing and passage readings from the bible nice. on christmas eve oh, christmas. exciting stuff and then in uh let's see yeah that was 1906 but the first broadcast stations that began airing programs was in the 1920s and it was mostly like news and world events still in 1931, th two out of five homes owned a radio, and then, um, a f like, seven or eight years later, four out of five homes owned a radio. And you used to sit around the radio. Right, like a TV. And just listen to the stories yes. and just stare at the box. You would imagine everything happening. That sounds kind of nice, actually. I mean, it's cool, I guess, but I, I like my visual mediums. I mean, people are kind of doing that right now they too. still like, i mean they're doing it <laughs> they're doing it literally, literally right literally now this very <laughs> yeah. i mean they do it with all the audio dramas <laughs> we produce too that's why it's crazy that like podcasting didn't become more of a i mean well, i guess the technology i think wasn't as easy to yeah well now i think with the internet and stuff podcasting yeah. became like a thing and that's more because now anybody can really just do a podcast right Whereas back then you had to go you had to into have like a radio. radio and yeah. have a radio Broadcast voice and a personality station. and yeah, get with the station and, you know, it was a lot harder. Yeah. But now it's like, and you had to like talk the entire time. They say like people who do like radio and stuff, like radio hosts and stuff and DJs, 
they said it's not easy to like keep it entertaining for as yeah. many hours. Can't as have any dead air. Yeah, that's why all. they're so annoying. Like to me, <laughs> listen to the radio yeah. now. Stop complaining all the time. Just do your job. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. Oh. Like, like they, they, like they always have to fill. Like I can't listen yeah. to the podcast and the radio stations that put in like background music and stuff like that. Like sound effects. Like I can't right. do that. Like it drives me crazy. And that's why I can't. I don't think I can. I can't listen to the radio now. Like as a teenager. Right. Like, I mean, it was where you got your music and stuff. Mm-hmm. But now I listen to the radio. First off, I don't want to hear the strangers opinions most of the time. Oh, yeah. And second off, they're like they're playing dumb shit and they're just always filling in the air. And like you can have some silence sometime, bro. <laughs> well, that's what I think. Uh, that's why podcasts took over or not took over. But that's why they took off. It's because uh, now you can kind of listen to somebody that you want to listen to right. you, that has like the same opinions or the same ideas as you do or something that you want to learn from or, or right. entertainment value. And uh, it's just – and with the internet, it's just easier to do that and you don't have to have the dead air. Usually podcasts are like yeah. half an hour, hour long. Some might be longer but you know, for the most part, it's just like easier. And it's I think. not run by like a corporation. So like you'll mm-hmm. still have commercials but it's not They're like- usually like in the beginning and the end and then every once in a while they'll have some in the beginning. Like right. in the middle, but and like a lot of times you can fast forward them unless and, it's someone who does them like. And when in you the listen middle. to music too, like you have XM radio, you have like all these other platforms, mm-hmm. Spotify yeah. and stuff that you the, can listen to the music. The biggest change was like satellite radio, which wasn't right. until like 1999. And that mm-hmm. was like huge change. That's like yeah. when I first started listening to satellite radio, because it was like Sirius and like XM, XM were separate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was the best because like. It was great. It was so good. <laughs> I mean, so good. The fact that they That's played I more music too. Hating. Yeah, and they played like better, like different. Different. There's songs. such a wide variety of genres instead mm-hmm. of just listening. You could to... just tune into exactly what you wanted. Yep. Mm. Yeah, because if you listen to radio, the they part. only play like the same 200 songs usually, yeah. which is like, and I know like newer stations will get newer songs like eventually, but if you listen to like like I like classic rock. I don't know oh, how many geez. times I've heard Hotel California on the radio or Stairway to Heaven. It's like times a day. Yeah, yeah. I love Same that station. song, but every every hour on the hour, I'm mm-hmm. like, come on. Like, the, the Eagles have more songs. <laughs> Led Zeppelin has more songs. Mm-hmm. Something else. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I still listen to the radio when I, like, if I'm not going far or, like, I'm just too lazy to pick something. That's the issue now that I have mm. is, like... I have to pick something to listen to. Like Too I have a mix, variety. right? I have a mix that I put on a lot of the times, but sometimes I'm just like I'm not in the mood for the mix that I made, and I'm like I'll just listen to the radio until I get annoyed. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll listen to nothing. <laughs> to just oh, I can't listen to nothing. <laughs> sometimes I do. It's not often, but usually yeah. I just have the radio on and tone it out. Yeah, but. exactly. Yeah, that's usually what I do too. And then you like get to your destination. And you're like, how did I even get here? I like zoned out for like. Uh, I mean, I don't do that. But interesting. <laughs> I do that sometimes. <laughs> I only do that when I have someone in the car and I'm having a conversation with them. I'm like, I like miss my turns and stuff. I'm like, oh shit. No, I always get to my destination. I'll be like driving, but I'll be driving home from work thinking about something, and then all of a sudden I'm like pulling into my driveway, and I'm like, I don't remember that drive at all. <laughs> Jeez. Interesting. <laughs> Yikes. That's scary. It's not like I'm swerving around on the road. You I just don't, don't know. Remember. You don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> There's just like fire and debris all behind me. <laughs> You're like, it's just Robert again. <laughs> just, this guy is zoning out. Good stuff. Radio. Radio. Did you ever listen to... Like video radio personalities, killed though. Killed the like, radio. Video killed the radio star. Star. But it actually didn't. Radio stars are still around. Yeah, there's like a famous, I forget his name right now. There's like a famous. Howard Stern. Tampa, Florida oh. broadcaster. Uh, Calhoun? Mike Calta? Yes. Mike Calta. Um, Adam, like, Adam, one of Adam's, him. like, family members, like, dated him or something. So Adam, like, hung out with him at, like, a, a holiday barbecue one time or some oh, shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. he, uh, I used to listen to his show in the afternoon, and then he moved to mornings, and I kind of lost track. And the only reason why I listened to him in the afternoon was because when I was working for the movie theater, mm-hmm. I would take breaks to, like, go get food or something like that or go run errands for the theater, and, like, I would just listen to it in the car. But now that's in the mornings, I don't wake up that early anymore, yeah. so I'm like... No, oh, well. I, I, I've, I'm not like a big like radio personality. Did you ever listen to Howard Stern? No, uh, like no. any any other radio personalities? Nope. I mean, I've Imus. I've seen. His I know movie. of him. That's about it. <laughs> who was it? Imus was the one who got fired. Oh, he's. Yeah. My dad used to watch him in the morning. Yikes. He had like a on the TV. They would like do a live broadcast oh, and really? stuff. Yeah, he used to watch that in the morning. I'm trying to think so who else boring. like is big. 
like radio personalities. No, I idea. know there's more that I can't think of. Howard Stern's like the first one yeah. that comes to my head, but Howard Stern actually, you know, he started off doing like all those like <laughs> like stupid mm-hmm. games and and trying to get women to take their tops off and stuff like that. But now he like actually interviews like celebrities. Like that's really? I mean he he did before, but not to the extent yeah. now. Like that's what he does. Like he just Good like he he talks to like people and stuff. At least he still got a career. Because radio's, radio's pretty dead right now. I mean, it's still But I think there, he made enough of a footprint to, like, kind of carry it through. Yeah. That people, he's got enough followers. People know who he is. Yeah. It's kind of like Joe Rogan with podcasts. Yeah, like, he's got enough followers that. that, like, even if podcasts started to die out, I think he would still have enough. I to mean, like, he, he doesn't he do it? He's doing an exclusive now with Spotify. That's right. So. Yeah. That's true, yeah. I mean, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty, that's pretty crazy. big. That's, pre- that's pretty crazy. Good for him. Yeah. Sure. He, He's still like live stream. Like, there's still clips of it on YouTube. There's yeah, other I ways to hear it too. Well. Yeah. So, no, he's that's good. Cool. I like him. Yeah. Good for him. Um, he, he needs the work. So, the survey. <laughs> he doesn't do enough. <laughs> yeah. He misses Fear Factor. <laughs> yeah. Fear Factor, UFC fights. <laughs> he needs he needs some more stuff. Podcasting, movies. Podcaster. Plus, like, after Just Shoot Me, you know what I mean? He needed something <laughs> to keep, keep him going. Is that the right? No, news radio, not Just Shoot Me. News radio, he was on. The TV show. Oh, you okay. ever watched it? No. Speaking of radio, yeah. news radio. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of radio, it's probably how he knew how to start a podcast so easily. Mm. He's like, Whoa. I know about radio. Um, oh, my facts: seventy-one yeah. percent uh, of people listen to the radio in their car. Sixty-seven percent of people listen to the radio every day. Those probably those facts probably changed since like COVID, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe you no. Know, you think more people listen to the radio? No, now? <laughs> because no, people aren't. Well, people weren't, weren't in their yeah. cars for months. But more people are listening to podcasts, though. Yeah, more people are listening That's to true. podcasts. Yeah, podcasts. You can find your little niche and listen to that. Yeah, niche, 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 niche. whatever. Potato, potato. Niche, niche. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what uh, I say. All right. So the real question, though. Ooh. Yeah. Do we have a cake to celebrate National Radio Day? <laughs> Why not? I say you do. You could have a radio shaped cake. I think you should eat the cake over the air because, you know, that's, oh, yeah. People that's really love hot right now. What's that, that called? Like, Isn't ASMR? ASMR. Oh. Yeah. What'd Sorry. you say? It's the you Korean just, word. It's <laughs> a Korean word <laughs> for it. That's our yeah. other guest that just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's a, uh, you know, watching people eat. It, that's when so they, I can't do it. I mean, it. we have eaten word. stuff over the air before. I can't do it. I can't listen to people. Like, if it happens, like, once or twice, like, really quick, yeah. fine. But I can't, can't just like, sit there yeah, you and, You don't like, go, mm, let me, let me yeah. listen to someone eating spaghetti <laughs> right Ooh, now. spaghetti. <laughs> oh, God, spaghetti. see? I can't, oh. Yeah, I don't like that. But, I mean, if I'm, like, next to someone and they're eating something good and I hear them eating, I'm like, you know what? I really want to eat that right now. <laughs> It's like all of the senses because you got the sight, you could see it, you could smell it, okay? <laughs> yeah. You could see someone enjoying it, you can hear them enjoying it. So, you know what? I think, yes, I think we should have cake. We should have cake. And everyone should listen to us eat it Yeah, right now. Right Let's now. get the cake out. In the shape Bring of the cake radio. out, guys. Bring the out the cake. Bring out the, in the shape of a radio or a boombox. Because I totally real have cool. one of those prepared. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't get a radio shaped cake? Did you guys ever uh, listen, like, um, you know, before cds and stuff like record your uh, uh off the radio yeah record yeah. song your favorite songs off the radio um i'm not going to admit to that because it's not legal <laughs> uh listen I, I was like i've heard that people ten. have done that okay. <laughs> listen I, did, I was young those i didn't even know it was illegal back then but i had a little tape recorder and yeah when i was record like and it's nine. hard you had to like hope they played it play and time record it. at the same time and then not that would, i would know but sometimes they would talk over it too like they would talk over the beginning of the song and i'm like shut up shut up i just want my I'm smash mouse this. one time like <laughs> yes one time i called in to have them like i requested a song and then i waited for them to play that song and i remember waiting like 45 minutes for them to play that song I'm like how many people requested a song i can't imagine doing that nowadays jesus yeah. what a waste of time yeah yeah. Now, Good now times. you don't have to do that. Now you can just, you know. So yeah, celebrate today by listening to the radio. If you have a radio star that you enjoy, <laughs> but what about the video? <laughs> <laughs> it might kill that radio star. <laughs> 
Anyway, reach out to them and let them know you appreciate them. But other than that, listen to the radio. Yeah, listen. To, definitely listen to the radio today while you're eating your or cake. Or songs. That Do it like old fashioned. Get get a carpet. Like lay your like a little rug down. Sit in front of if you have a radio, radio in your ha- house. Probably not one of those big old furniture looking ones, but you know, just play like a radio or off of your uh, phone, and then sit there and eat some cake on the on the floor. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sounds like a good okay. day. Cool. All right. Hey, Amy. Thanks, thanks for joining thanks, again. Thanks, Amy. This is Amy Luray signing off. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Amy Luray. Thank you for joining. Ooh. It was a great time. Anyways. Signing off. Well, that does it for this episode of Will There Be Cake? Ooh, I've ooh, been ooh. your host, Robert Lamb. With me, as always, was Amber Simpson. Yo. Thank you, Amy, for joining us. We will catch you tomorrow, Bye. ladies and gentlemen. Bye. <laughs> That's so pretty rainbow colors. Seven Lamb Production.